So now what I'd like to do is to condense down an entire season's worth of hurricane activity for you. This is beginning back in July of 2005, running all the way out through December of, of, of uh, 2005, illustrating the 27 storms that came up out of the Atlantic and hit the United States. And uh, what we're looking at here is an amazing montage. We are putting cloud patterns on top of ocean surface temperatures. Uh, and we're doing this for six months, and we're compressing this down into about a four-minute animation. And as each individual storm develops, you can watch it um, take its track up into the United States. Here we see one of the first storms of the season, Dennis. This is back in early July. You don't expect Category 4 storms to be striking the United States in July. Right on Dennis's heels, here comes Hurricane Emily moving up through the, the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and you can watch these ocean temperatures just warm up drastically as the summer season wears on. It's important to realize or to understand that the source of energy for hurricanes is the ocean. The ocean is the source of fuel because of water vapor, and the water vapor evaporates from the ocean surface. Water vapor is the fuel that gets into the storms that energizes them, that creates the warm core in the eye that lowers the surface pressure. Now here we are. We're about to watch uh, the formation of Hurricane Katrina, which is going to develop down here uh, in the Caribbean and move up into the Gulf of Mexico. But before we get there, we do have a couple other interesting little storms. There's Katrina moving up into the Gulf Coast. And uh, on the heels of Katrina, we do have Hurricane Rita that came along uh, and followed much of the same trajectory. Here's an interesting storm, though, in the interim, this is Ophelia, and I'm not really sure what Ophelia had in mind because she dances around like a drunk sailor off the uh, coast of uh, the Outer Banks and has everyone scared to death for about two days about an impending landfall. Now, here comes Rita moving up over the very warm waters. These waters were approaching 30 degrees Celsius, which is about uh, 87, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, like a jacuzzi in the Gulf of Mexico, if you will. And then finally, the big storm of the season, the strongest Atlantic hurricane ever to occur on record, Hurricane Wilma, will soon develop out here over the Caribbean waters and once again move up into the Gulf Coast of the United States. So we're going to explore why all these storms followed a very similar trajectory throughout this very, very long season. Okay, here comes Wilma. There she's tracking offshore. Luckily, only clipped the very southern tip of Florida, spare the Gulf Coast. Now we've got to get into the Greek alphabet because we've totally exhausted the alphanumeric alphabet, and we're getting into alpha, beta, gamma, all the way up to storm zeta. So we have quite a parade of storms in 2005. This is an amazing satellite sequence, and you can get this uh, from the, the website. Now, what can I teach you folks as educators? How can we inspire our students? We have to use state-of-the-art visualizations such as this. We want to talk about the entire life cycle of tropical cyclones from the birth of these storms through their maturity all the way to their landfall and their demise. <laughs>